Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the types of DNA and types of RNA on the basis of their feature. In the last video, we discussed about the difference between DNA and RNA along with the Chargaff's rules and what is the arsenal reaction. So let's start. In this video, we will discuss uh, the types of DNA. So we differentiate the types of DNA on the basis of their helix type, uh, distance per each turn, number of base pair per turn and whether it is a follow the Watson and Crick model. Okay, so let's start. Three types of DNA. Uh, first one is a B DNA. Uh, second one is a A DNA, and third one is a Z DNA. And now we will uh, disc uh, we will uh, differentiate it. Uh, the B DNA is a right-handed helix type, uh, and A DNA it is a, it is also the right-handed helix type, and the Z DNA is a left-handed helix type. Okay. Now uh, we will see the distance per each turn. What is mean by distance per each turn? See, the DNA is a double helix. Okay, this is a double helix. This is the this is the first turn. This is the second turn. Okay, this is the first turn. This is the distance between this two turn. This is the distance between per each turn is for DNA is a thirty four angstrom. For A DNA is a 32 angstrom and the for J DNA is a 45 angstrom. Okay, now we will see the number of base pair per turn. Okay, see in this uh, two uh, turn there is a base pair. Okay, there is a ATGC base pair is there. Okay, so how many base pair in the single uh, turn? Okay, we will see the B DNA consists of the J uh, 10 turn. A DNA there is 11 turn and in Z DNA there is a 12 turn. You know uh, the base pair uh, is AT and GC. Okay, these two bond indicate the weak hydrogen bonding between adenine and thymine for uh, DNA and guanine and cytosine. There is a three bonded. Okay, now we will see the Watson and Crick model. Okay, Watson and Crick model is uh, followed by the B DNA and it is not followed by a dna and z dna okay this is type this is the four types of dna now we will discuss the types of rna okay we will uh, differentiate the rna on the basis of their concentration on the basis of their functions and on the basis of their solubility solubility and on the basis of the uh, whether from where it is synthesized okay now there are three types of rna first one is a uh, mrna second one is a tRNA and third one is a rRNA the concentration of different types of RNA in the body of mRNA is a 5 to 10 percent and tRNA is a 10 to 20 percent and rRNA is a 50 to 80 percent okay now we will see the function of different types of RNA mRNA is functioned as it has a genetic code for the protein synthesis and for the tRNA it is a transfer of amino acid from transfer of amino acid to mRNA to mRNA for the protein synthesis and the function of rRNA is the provide structural framework for the protein synthesis okay now we will see whether it is a soluble RNA or it is insoluble RNA see the mRNA is a insoluble RNA then tRNA is a soluble RNA and rRNA is a insoluble RNA and now we will discuss from where this type of RNA synthesized. The mRNA is a synthesized from RNA polymerase 2. Okay. Then tRNA is a synthesized from RNA polymerase 3. And rRNA is a synthesized from RNA polymerase 1. Okay. This different types of DNA and RNA it is uh, it is very important for the GPAT and NIPER point of view. Okay. Uh, for today's it is a sufficient in the next lecture we will discuss the what is the rdna technology recombinant dna technology so thank you for watching